Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading My In-Laws Are Obsessed With Me, episode 37 to 38. Ah, I'm not going to give you guys the whole thing because it's the end of the month. Let's go ahead and get started. My In-Laws Are Obsessed With Me. Episode 37. Uh, oh, come to think of it. I'm not going to be alone tonight. You sleep on the bed. I only used the bed because he didn't come back after the party last night either. Uh, well, how about we share the bed and keep to our sides? The bed is pretty spacious, you know? We can't keep living like this for an entire year, so... I'll sleep on this side, and you sleep on the other side. <laughs> oh. I'm finally getting used to the ceiling in here. I'm glad. As Letty enjoyed herself today. Selfie seems to really care about her. That he does. Venus told me that Azadi could have seizures. It is highly likely as her body has weakened. Will she be all right? But thankfully, she showed no such signs thus far. We should help her so that she can get better. Fret not. Venus is taking good care of her. Oh, goodness gracious. You're getting ready for the social season? My goodness, your grace. I love how your face glows with that dress. You look so beautiful. You, know, you, you used to look uh, for gowns that don't stand out, but this time the dresses are so gorgeous. Ba-boom, ba-boom. And truly... The Lapillians are known for never taking part in social gatherings. <gasps> but you are different, your grace, just as I thought. <laughs> Lady Rebecca. What is it? Please, hush. <laughs> oh. I would like to apologize for doubting you and speaking harshly. The case was solved all thanks to you. Thank you for saving our child. After the welcoming party for Asleti, Gloria asked me to sincerely apologize. I will never forget what you've done for us. If you ever want anything, don't hesitate to ask. She said she wished to repay me for what I had done for the family. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> I... So I told her about social gatherings, and now the preparations are already complete. Unbelievable. And all these people are famous master craftsmen. I heard even the wealthiest cannot call on them as they please. The tailor and the jeweler. You grace, how would you like this style for the dress? I brought the material a dress for reference. And do you prefer a certain design or color? I will take that into account when I make them. I also brought a catalog for your convenience. I brought some accessories, oh, but I only wish to draw a rough picture of the design for today. When the dress design is decided, I shall send you some samples that go well with it. All right. It is an honor to be making the dress for the social season for the Lapillians once again. I won't let you down, I promise. We will be back again, Your Grace. Have a safe trip back. The shoemaker is waiting in the next room, Your Grace. <laughs> for days, I've been busy. The dress, accessories, and even etiquette. I expected as much, but this is completely different from taking part in social gatherings as a Count's daughter. 
These are the letters, invitation letters, I've prepared so far. Please like the rest, Your Grace. Good work. Oh. Are you alright, Your Grace? You look rather exhausted. Maybe get some rest. I think you're overworking yourself these days. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> oh. It's rather bitter, isn't it? This tea is actually used as medicine as well. His Grace also drinks it. He asked me to make some for you. They say the tea helps you have good dreams. Uh -oh. Uh oh. It's good for insomnia, peace of mind, relaxation, and fatigue. Although I can't say if all this is true. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Shall I send the letter out? Yes, please. You're sending letters to a lot of people, I see. I shall tell the servants to be extra careful. I did my best for the preparations, and I hope everything turns out well. And time passed. <laughs> and finally, it was a day for me to attend the party for the first time. And this should be the party that we saw in the first episode, right? Right? Or different? On to the next one. No need to be too nervous. I am here by your side. And that makes me feel even more nervous. My in-laws are obsessed with me. Episode 38. The party held in the dukedom is a cultural gathering where noblemen's daughters have come of age and married noble women come together. And married noble, married noble women come together. Gloria suggested that the party would be more appropriate as the first gathering I partake in as a grand duchess. I expected as much, but... Oh. I'm attracting quite a lot of attention here. When I was just a daughter of a count, all I did was follow my dad and father around. And as a debutante, I danced a few times with some of the noble men. But after I met Chef, I didn't attend parties anymore. Pull, pull. <laughs> How do I say that word? The Marchioness? Hold on, that's a unique word. Marchioness. What a weird word. Which is the wife or widow of a marquis. Oh. I'm going to say here. The Marchioness. Marchioness over there. I met her a couple of times when she was visiting professor at the academy I was enrolled at. And the Viscountess over there. She used to talk frequently with my father at parties. <laughs> it's only been a short while since I came back to the capital, so I've been rather occupied. But finally, I get to see you all here today. I am to blame for the belated greetings, so I hope you all take good care of our child. Uh, our child? Huh? Oh, there was no need to go that far, Gloria. Of course! Since the former Grand Duchess herself is asking, it would be my pleasure to be of assistance. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Your Grace. Oh, the social season has only just begun. The Duchess has taken special care to host this party after hearing that the two of you would be gracing us with your presence. Tonight can serve as a welcoming party for Her Grace, the Grand Duchess. And that gown did they re-owned Renowned Taylor make it is so elegant. Your Grace, we met at the Academy a few months ago, and here we meet again. <laughs> Since Your Grace and the former Grand Duchess are close, you must have a lot to catch up on. Let us go over there. They are talking a lot about music, since it is the theme of today's party. First, let me see which orchestra came. I've taken a liking to lively and graceful songs like this of the late. 
And what about you, Your Grace? Oh, there's no need to rush. I understand you want to learn more about her, Grace, but let us have a seat before we chat. <laughs> I was able to join this party thanks to Gloria's help, but I should take some time to make a good impression. I'll have to see them again even after getting divorced, after all. Come to think of it, I, l I hear that you found a missing child. Oh, yes. It is as announced. My husband's, dis uh, my husband's uncle has decided to take care of the child. I see. Wow, the former Grand Duchess must also be happy to have found family. Don't you also miss your family? It would have been nice if Countess Zahar had joined us tonight as well. Huh? Oh, the Countess has been making frequent appearance of late. She's been invited to several parties ever since you became Grand Duchess. She said she was rather lonely because she felt you drifted apart after the marriage. Oh, but we don't. But don't we all? Most parents feel that way. And she was very worried about the incident at the parade. Huh? Oh, this person is there to spread rumors. Oh, we were very shocked to hear of that as well. That ruffians. Oh, and did you hear? Adios Potson, the Viscount's son, is in the hall on the first floor. Oh, you mean the second son? Adios Potson? Yes, the Duke must have called for him. He has something to receive, or so I hear. Adios uh, seems to be everywhere. Everywhere I hear studying abroad has made him quite knowledgeable. But that's not what he was known for in the past. Perhaps I also send my son abroad to study. <laughs> Even if the Duke called for him, how would he visit at this particular hour when noble women have gathered? Usually they'd be a talk bad about him since a man visiting at this hour is inappropriate. I wonder why they're taking it so well. He's good looking indeed, but still. Do you also know him, Your Grace? Oh, I did hear that he is a fine-looking young man. I hear he might come uh, become the crown princess's lover. Huh? Pardon? Oh, didn't you know? Her highness is known to be to collect beauties. She has a soft spot for frail-looking beauties. Adios is definitely her cup of tea. And she proposed to her husband because she wanted to protect him. Her highness? Oh. He must be leaving by now. <laughs> it's rather hot, isn't it not? I was going, uh, I was thinking of going out to the balcony for a moment to get some fresh air. <laughs> what a fine idea. Please join us, Your Grace. Come now. I, I don't know if this is appropriate. It's gotten a lot darker. There he goes. Hmm. Huh? Oh. oh my, oh. His wound is completely healed. I think I sort of remember him, right? Or no? Might be mistaken. Okay, so, so far off. Obviously, when women get together, I am not a fan when, like, all women get together to gossip about things, especially when it's about you, and they just, like, talking as if you're not there. Like, oh, did you hear? Blah, blah, blah. I've been there. I got bullied. Like, I swear to you. I was, like, maybe 24. Yeah, I was 24 years old when I got went to this, like, person's house, and this person would, like, just bring up stuff about my life. And then like tell them like tell her, their friends about this whole mess about my life, right? The like, the relationship that I was in, and I hated it. I was like, but bro, like I didn't bring this up. Don't talk about my life to other people, especially your friend. You know, like gossip about it behind my back. I don't care, but don't act like I'm invisible. You know? Yeah. So I just ugh, that just reminded me of that, and I hate it. 
Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the way I read this and react to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!